Hello everyone, it's Magasan Fjord and today I will show you a review how to bypass your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge device. So let's head in. Ok guys, so for that you will have to use uh, your SIM card, make sure that you have that. Ok, so let's proceed that. Make sure you connect to Wi-Fi. So that's connected. Okay. Okay, so this is verify your account and now what you have to do, you will not be able to get through. So now make sure you add your SIM card. And don't do nothing here, just you will have to remove that. Okay. Now click on notification settings. And search for YouTube. Then scroll down. More settings in app. Then click about. Then Google privacy policy. Okay, that's good. And now you go to just google.com. Okay, now go to bit D, then just type in okay, bitly. Okay, so you type in this. Now you download that. Actually guys, that site that didn't work, so you have to go to frpfile.com-apk and this one should be working. So I'm now here and uh, because that one didn't work for me. And now we go to, to download Quick Manager. Okay, that's saving. So here it is. Now we click install. So we install like that. Oh, that's that's good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so just click done. Go back. Go to this website. Make sure you download Google Manager Android 8. This is the latest, so click save, make sure that it's downloaded, so it's being downloaded, okay, so now let's install that, click yes, okay, we also have to install one more file, bypass FRP, so let's save that, go to history, download history. So here we have, let's install it as well. Okay, 
Now, once it's installed, just open that, okay, and click browser sign in, okay. So actually now you can log into any Google account that you have and make sure and uh, once you put this information, so I will uh, make uh, show you other instructions. So just put in your information, I'll put it mine. Okay, so you put your information here. Oh, you put the password and then you sign in. Okay, it's different. Okay, so you put in your password. So that's it for now. And now what you have to do, you have to restart your device. You can now also put your SIM card. Okay. Now it's already connected because previously. Okay, we we'll go on. Now that's the moment of truth. If, uh, if it actually, okay, so that's that's good news. It's added. Okay, let's skip that. Accept. That's actually very good. Skip. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, and guys, I will show you uh, which version is it. It is. So this is Samsung Galaxy A7 Edge. And so that is Android 8.0, Samsung Experience, Space Band, build number. Security and this is Android security patch level 1st of March 2019 So that's I can clearly show you that it really worked and now I will have what you have to do next is to delete your current um, Okay, so my battery charge you know went off so you go to accounts then you click for accounts actually now I remove that because my battery turned off so I was thinking that I was still filming so after you remove your account uh, you will have to do hard reset just type in um, Okay, um, you can find that um, I think it's here. Yeah. So now we will have to make factory data data reset, and you just click reset. So that will, you know, remove everything that is has been installed before so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, what else what any other suggestions um okay so that's it it was very i hope that this video 
uh, help someone of you and you can see that quick shortcut maker is still here frp bypass so you can also delete that to make sure that you know this information will not be used before but make sure to make this uh, factory data reset so that's it for now <clears throat> I'm just going to show you one once again. This is the latest. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.